Hey guys, Adam here from Sleep HQ. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the data from your CPAP machine into Sleep HQ if you're using a touch device. So this is for people with an iPad, an iPhone or an Android device and they're using that to get the data from their CPAP machine's SD card into Sleep HQ. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to do this and depending on the device that you're on and the amount of data that you've got to upload, you can decide which is going to be the best way for you to go about it. I'm going to do the demonstrations today on my iPad, but you're going to be able to use the same techniques no matter which of those devices you're on. Okay, so I'm on my iPad now and I've created a new account on Sleep HQ and I've logged in. So the first thing I'm going to do is click go to data import. Once I'm on the data import page, now what I need to do is find the files that I'm going to be uploading. So I've connected my SD card to my iPad using an SD card reader. And you can buy an SD card reader from Amazon or lots of different places online. Once you've got that connected, it should come up in your files app. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the files app and have that on the screen as well as my browser. So to do that on an iPad, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. And you can see down the bottom here, I've got this icon with all of my different apps in there. I'm going to click on that one. And in the app library, I'm going to search for files. Once I've found that files app, I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to drag it out the side here like that. And that's now going to give me a file browser over the top of my internet browser. So what I can do, if I click on that files button at the top left there, we're going to go all the way back to the top level of the iPad. So this should show me all of the files and folders that are on my iPad. And if I scroll down, you can see I've got my SD card connected right there. So I'm going to click on SD card and that's now showing me all of the files that are on my SD card that's come out of my CPAP machine. So now all I need to do is select the files and drag them into Sleep HQ. So to do that, I'm going to click the three dots at the top right hand corner. I'm going to say select. And then I'm going to click on select all in the left hand corner like that. So now I've got all of my files and folders selected on my SD card. And I'm just going to hold and drag them straight across into the Sleep HQ window like that and drop them. Once I've got that done, and it's going to import those files for me now. I can click on these the three little dots up the top here and swipe across to the right to just get rid of that file browser because I don't need that anymore. And now in Sleep HQ, I can see that I've added in all of my files and folders that were on my SD card and I can just simply hit begin upload and that's going to upload all the files and folders exactly as if I was on a desktop. So that's going to be the easiest way for everyone to get their files and folders in. Now, if you've got a lot of data that you need to import, Go and check out the other video that shows you how to drag in just selected folders from your SD card because you might find, especially if you're on a mobile device, you don't want to drag in everything at one time. So you might need to go to that data log folder and just pull out some of the folders to begin with. Go and check out the other video though because that goes into that process in more detail. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other way to get your data imported into Sleep HQ. So this is going to work for people who maybe can't click and drag, which you can't do that on an iPhone. So the way that I just showed you to do that will only work on an iPad. If you're on an iPhone, you're not going to be able to do the click and drag technique. And same thing on some Android devices, you can't click and drag. So if you're on a device where you can't click and drag, this is an alternative approach. For this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the files app. There it is. And again, you can see I've got all of my different files and folders on my iPad down the left hand side. And I've clicked on the one that says SD card. So I'm now looking at everything that's on the SD card. And I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner where it says select and then select all. And then down the bottom right hand corner where it says more, I'm going to click on that one. And there's an option called compress. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a new file called archive.zip. And that's basically, it's all of the other files and folders all compressed into a single file that I'm going to upload to Sleep HQ. Now, there's a limitation with iPhones and iPads when you select files that you can only select one at a time. So when you're uploading your data, if you've got months and months worth of data on your SD card, it's going to take you a really long time to go through and select every single file on your data card. So this is an alternative where we're going to create just a single zip file and then we're going to be able to upload just that zip file to Sleep HQ, and it's going to have the same effect as though we'd uploaded each of the files individually. So let me show you how that looks. I'm going to go back to the browser now. Okay, I'm back over in the browser. I've created my zip file on my SD card, and now what I need to do is just upload it to the website. So if I can't click and drag, what I can do is scroll down to where it says Select Files. So you can see this button right here. I'm going to click on that one and select the Choose Files option. 
brings up a file browser. And what I need to do is click this button at the top left that says browse. And I wanna go all the way back to the top level of my iPad. So I keep going back until I see this menu here. And again, I can select my SD card from that menu. Now in there, I can see the new archive.zip file, which is the one that we just created. And I'm gonna select that file and add just that single file to the uploader. And that's all I need to do. Now I'm gonna say begin upload. So I'm clicking the blue button and that file is now going to be uploaded to Sleep HQ. The file will get unpacked into all of the uh, different files that we added to that zip folder and then it's gonna get imported through the normal process. So if you've got a lot of data to import, this is also a good approach where you can get a lot of data in using a smaller upload. The zip files tend to be about half the size of the, the uncompressed files. So it's a good way to get a lot of data in quickly if you need to. So I'm gonna let that upload finish and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so my zip file's finished uploading and you can see now that we've got this unpacking zip file step that's happening on the app. And if you have a look down there, underneath the name of the import, we've got, you can see there's actually increasing. It says 148 files and that number's going up. It's got 189 files because what it's doing is it's extracting all those files out of the zip file. That's finished now. And now we're actually gonna start processing the import as though you dragged all those files over one at a time. So that's a much easier way if you're on a touch device where you can't uh, drag and drop a bunch of files, then you can create a zip file and just drag over that one zip file instead. Now, uh, that's gonna work for everyone when they're first getting started to upload all of their data. Once you've got most of your data uploaded and you're just doing a regular, uh, a regular update, so say it's been a week since you last uploaded your data and now you just wanna bring in your most recent week's worth of data, then rather than, uh, rather than creating a zip file of everything on your SD card, what you'd be better off doing is creating a zip file for just the most recent data. And again, if you have a look at the other video that describes how to bring in just a partial import, then that's gonna teach you how to just grab the data folders, the data log files that you need for your most recent data. Make sure you include the identity files as well, zip all of them together and bring them in. So. That's basically it for uh, importing your data on a touch device. So that's gonna get you there whether you can click and drag multiple files, or if you've only got the option, like if you're on an iPhone or something where you can only drag in, a, uh, where you can only select a single file at a time. So as always, if you have any issues, make sure you let us know and we'll do everything we can to help you out and make sure that you can get all your data in successfully. All right, thanks guys, I hope that's helped.